got from above. The Black Mamba, the world's deadliest Top Killer Snakes, number one on the countdown, the Bushmaster. Five Top ways to die. Deadliest Snake, the King down. Cobra. The Radically Mast. poisonous, hardcore. Snake. 11 most deadly reptiles. What's the deal with all these nature shows on the world's deadliest snakes? I mean, don't you think it's a bit lame? Yeah, if I see another nature show on the world's most deadly snakes, I'm gonna tear my eyeballs out and eat them. <laughs> well, I guess we are doing a video on the world's most dangerous snakes. But here's the deal. See, Hazen and I deal with a lot of snakes. Poisonous snake. Well, at least, Hazen really likes snakes, so we end up seeing them quite a bit while we're out filming. But it made me think that maybe we should take our camera and look at some of these myths and rumors and set the story straight. So this crocodile hunter dude, he says, oh, this, is a, this is an amazing find. This is the inland taipan, the deadliest snake in the world here in Australia. Oh, she's a beaut. Huh. And this guy over here from India, he says, Namaste. Welcome to India. The Indian King Cobra is the deadliest snake in the world. One little bite from its mouth can kill you. Just like that, nothing. Just a little prick, not even a big bite, but a very small little, you know, it dead, gone. It is very, very, very deadly. From South Africa, he lists. Here in the African bush, we can find the world's most deadly snake. It is the beautiful African Black Mamba. Amazing. I think it might have just bit me. Holy Ganesh, that is really not very good because this is the Indian Cobra and it is the deadliest snake in the... <laughs> but it would be interesting to see why everybody says they have the most interesting or the most deadly venomous snake. Well, I think it would be interesting to start it looking at the venom of the snakes. That's right, but that's where things start to get tricky. Let me explain. So you've probably heard that different snakes have different types of venom, right? A coral snake, say, would have a neurotoxin affecting the nerves. And a rattlesnake or a cottonmouth, a, a type of hemotoxin, which breaks down tissue. Well, yes and no, really. In reality, one drop of venom from any snake is going to contain many types of enzymes, proteins, and toxins designed to affect the body. Some may be neurotoxic, some may be hemotoxic. While each on their own may be bad, when their toxins are added together in combinations, they can be even more powerful, destructive, and effective. Trickier still is that different kinds of snakes have different kinds of venom for different kinds of prey. Like the sea snake has venom to take down fish. But would that same kind of venom work for birds or even rodents? And to answer some of those questions, we're gonna get the help from Dr. Ken Cardon. Dr. Cardon is an expert on venomous snakes. Hey Ken, how's it going? Hi Hazen. Good to hey, see you. Hi. How are You're you doing? Real good. And he explains that determining the deadliest is complicated. You have a, a complex organism, uh, the snake itself, inject a complex uh, mixture of chemicals, the venom, into another complex organism, a human being. And so how all that makes its way through and which makes it the most venomous is going to depend upon each of those factors. Now he tells us the traditional way to measure a snake's toxicity is to extract the venom, dry it, and then inject it into several mice. The dose that kills 50% of the mice in 24 hours is a value we call the LD50. Now, there are some snakes that inject more venom than others. More venom kills larger prey. For instance, if I was a big mouse, so it would take a lot more venom to try to kill me. Like from the hook nose sea crate, the most venomous snake ever recorded. I would only need to be injected by 1.4 milligrams of its venom to kill me. For comparison though, the deadly and famous King Cobra, I'd need to be injected by 63 milligrams of its venom to be able to kill me. 
And, well, for the American comparison, let's just say the Copperhead. I would need a whopping 763 milligram of Copperhead venom to be able to kill me. Okay, so here are the top five most venomous snakes according to our mouse test. Number one on the list, the hook-nosed sea crate. Number two on the list, the Russell's Viper. Number three, the Inland Taipan. Number four on the list, Dubois Reef Snake. And number five, the Australian Eastern Brown Snake. Another issue that complicates matters is the amount of venom the snake holds. For example, the sea snake, it may hold as little as seven milligrams of venom. A Russell's Viper, number two on the list, may hold from 15 to 30 times that amount. So yeah, I might then consider the Russell's Viper to be a little more dangerous. And finally, if we're talking about how dangerous these snakes are, we're going to have to include the aggressiveness of the snake and how often we cross paths with these snakes. The problem is, is that a formula like that doesn't exist. You can't just add all these variables together and come up with a number. I mean, the best bet for how deadly a snake is, is to see how many people die from it. But even if you look at that, a lot of developing countries don't always keep the best hospital records. And so their data might be a little bit misleading and make it appear like snakes from there are not really all that deadly. So you must be saying, what's the world's most deadly snake? Problem is, no one can say for sure. Since you can't really tell for sure, here's a recap. Some people say it's the venom mice test, the LD50, that determines the deadliest. Some say it's how much venom the snake packs, combined with the toxicity of the venom. Others say it's the aggressiveness of the snake. Others say it's simply how many people die. But since everybody else is gonna make a prediction, I thought I'd make one of my own. The most venomous snake, according to our LD50 mouse test, is the hook-nosed sea crate. And you'll probably disagree with me, and I hope you do. Yeah, so I'm gonna say the black mamba, or probably the Russell's viper, as being the most dangerous, because they're so dang aggressive. But nobody can really know for sure. If you wanna get more facts on snakes, and lesson plans of this episode, log on to www.thewildclassroom.com backslash snakes. This snake I am not afraid of because I have known him a very long time and Ganesh and Shiva and all the wonderful gods know that uh, it would never bite me. So that's why sometimes, you know, for fun, I give him little kisses, like this, little small kisses, not big ones, because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to tempt him too much, but little, oh! Ah, oh, she's a beaut. I haven't seen one so big in, in a oh, long time. Oh, I was just saying to my wife the other day. <laughs> <laughs>